In interphase, the eukaryotic genome is organized into a hierarchy of structures within the 3D nuclear space. Chromatin conformation capture methods have identified chromatin loops that may connect functional elements such as enhancers and promoters. In addition to loops, interphase chromatin is organized into higher order structures such as topologically associating domains that represent regulatory domains defined by preferential intradomain contacts, whereas contacts across topologically associating domain borders are less frequent. They favor interactions between regulatory regions, whereas they disable promoter-enhancer looping contacts between regulatory regions separated by topologically associating domain boundaries. Four different types of components have been suggested to participate in loops and the formation and definition of topologically associating domains. Insulator proteins that regulate local gene architecture. The transcription machinery. The pioneer transcription factor Zelda an important genome organizer during early drosophila development. Polycomb group proteins that contribute to the formation of a specific type of repressive topologically associating domain called polycomb domain. In drosophila, polycomb group proteins are recruited to chromatin by polycomb response elements, so-called PREs, which act as nucleation sites for the formation of repressive polycomb domains marked by H3K27 trimethylation. Using high-resolution, high-C experiments, we analyzed higher-order 3D chromatin organization during Drosophila embryogenesis and identified active and repressive chromatin loops that are established with different kinetics and depend on distinct factors. Zelda-dependent active loops are formed before the mid-blastular transition between transcribed genes over long distances. Repressive loops within polycomb domains are formed after the mid-blastular transition between PREs by the action of the transcription factor GAR-GAR and polycomb proteins. Perturbation of PRE function by CRISPR-Cas9 genome engineering affects polycomb domain formation and destabilizes polycomb-mediated silencing. Preventing loop formation without removal of polycomb components also destabilizes silencing suggesting that chromatin architecture can play instructive roles in gene regulation during development. Taken together, our results provide fundamental insights into the dynamics of chromatin organization during development and the importance of PRE looping contacts to stabilize gene repression.